I don't confirm or deny whether I was on the David Letterman show uh, and the <laughs> what what people know of that that uh, particular parents uh, because I I like. Uh, there to be an air of mystery. If I just said exactly what it is, it's not interesting. It's not. It doesn't let people think about things. I'm. I. I mean, it's funny to me though that there is any kind of. I mean, that was a long time ago. Now that was uh, 1986, seven. 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 So that was 20 years ago. And <laughs> I mean, that's a long time to have something where people still like post things on the IMDB right now about like their idea of what, what happened on this thing 20 years ago. So clearly there's something interesting going on and I, I, I just much prefer to let it, let it uh, live in that realm of, of mystery. And I always have. I've never confirmed or denied what, what that is or even if I've been on, on that show. <laughs> so, I mean, I, 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 I have been on that show uh, since that appearance, but I've never really confirmed or denied if that appearance was actually me or not. <laughs> so, How did people respond to that after? I mean, now, 20 years later, it's got to Well, people, I mean, I think people still think that, that this person could either have something wrong with them mentally or that there was some kind of drug influence or so you know there's all kinds of suppositions as to what it could be or that or that who knows what it could be i mean people do suppose different things and i just i just rather let them suppose i <laughs> but, that, but getting back to what i was initially asking about there is something about Provoking the audience a little bit because that's a little dangerous. You know, the audience doesn't know what to think. Some are laughing, some are catcalling. They don't. Know it's what it's know what an they interesting think. thing to to look at. I I will agree, <laughs> and it's I'm glad that it has its life. I think it's a good, I think it's a good thing. <laughs> it's it's not what is supposed to happen. That that's very clear in both what is it and that the, there are moments on that. David Letterman appearance where, yes, the audience that's watching it feels like something is wrong. <laughs> They're not exactly sure what is wrong, but some, something's wrong. It's a little bit hard to put your finger on it. Letterman and yourself, I mean, that was the frightening thing about it, was that here's this host who's... So he walked off the show. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny. He's very angry and insulting <laughs> that you were hijacking his show. <laughs> well, well, we'll say that somebody, some entity seemingly was hijacking that show. I won't say if it was me or not. <laughs> it is interesting that he actually physically left the show. He physically walks off of the stage of his show. That's, That's odd. He couldn't do it. There's that shot of you or whoever that is in the middle of the, of the set standing and then politely sitting. And he's gone. And I think of the 20 years he's been on the air. I don't think he's, he's ever walked. I don't know about left. that, but I, don't, I think that is the only time so he actually he walked off the show in the middle of the broadcast. It was your name. It wasn't like Tony Clifton's all, The Alter Ego of Andy Kaufman. You know, you have to then live with it your whole life. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's no question that it uh, whether it was me or not, people believe it was, and uh, it has it has different kinds of repercussions. Some of which, within the conservative, corporately funded, and distributed film industry, probably are repercussions of fear and anxiety. And uh, yet, within my own uh, touring with my film, my own film, and what it is that I'm really genuinely interested in, people are, are I think, can see that some, there's something interesting happening, and it, it's an, it, it forms an intrigue, which is a very positive thing.